Installing the high torque stepper motor upgrade on the Onefinity CNC. The first thing we'll need to do when we swap out our motor is remove the bolts and nuts holding the motor to the end of the rail. We'll use a 4mm hex key with an 8mm crescent wrench to remove these, then set them aside as we will be reusing them. Once all four bolts are loosened and removed, we can pull the motor from the end of the rail, bringing half of the coupler with it. Now we're going to flip the rail on its back side and then we will reuse a 3mm hex key to remove the bolt that holds the black retaining plastic piece around the end of the wire opposite the motor. That black plastic piece will split down the middle freeing that wire so that we can get the wiggle room we need to replace our old motor with our new motor. Back on the motor end of the rail we can disconnect the motor wire and the inner tube wire from each other and we will simply plug in the new motor to the existing inner tube wire. It's a straight plug and play with no wire changes necessary. Once that's connected we can feed our wire back through the tubing and we can remove our coupler from our old motor using a 2.5 millimeter hex key. Once removed we can place the old coupler on the new motor making sure that we put the set screw on the flat portion of the motor shaft. You need to make sure you leave a 1 to 2 millimeter gap between the coupler and the motor body. We're going to tighten down the center set screw first, and once we've done that, we will tighten down the secondary bolt that will clamp around the shaft. Once that's all connected, we can now reconnect our motor to our ball screw with the coupler. The easiest way to do this is to twist the motor shaft and coupler so that it lines up with the ball screw inside of the housing of the foot. Then we'll just push it onto place, and we will reinstall our bolts in a minute. First, we're going to reinstall our plastic retaining piece around the end of our wire. We're going to put the black plastic around it, then we will position it so that the hole will face the bottom of the foot and line up with the hole for the bolt that we removed earlier. Once that's lined up, we can reinstall that with our 3mm hex key and set the rail back upright. Now we'll reinstall our bolts and our nuts, so we'll use our 4mm hex key and our 8mm wrench again to tighten those down. Once those are tightened down, that completes the upgrade from the normal NEMA 23 stepper to the high torque NEMA 23 stepper motor. Thanks for watching.